What is up? We are Wrestling Maniacs out there worldwide. I'm the host with the most, the best one, Donnie, here with. What is going on, everybody? Denny Huckins here, man. One third of We Are Wrestling. And, uh, you know, usually I like to joke around in my intros and stuff like that, but I don't really think now is the time. So I'm just going to send it over to you, Mr. Ben Hezan Bruno. What's going on, man? What's going on, guys? Ben here, third of uh, We Are Wrestling talk show. And uh, it is a very somber day today. And, uh, you know, like Dan just said, all jokes aside, you know, uh, it's good, definitely going to be more of a serious one. You know, uh, there's a time and place for everything. And uh, this one's going to be more of a special episode and we're, you know, going to treat it more of a celebration and a tribute to, so to speak. So before we get all into that, Don, take it away. That's right. So for, you know, this special here, we want to, instead of being like all these other wrestling, you know, news outlets and other wrestling channels out there right now, just reporting, you know, the death of Jay Briscoe. We want to instead celebrate his career and talk about some of our favorite matches from him and talk about the human being behind Jay Briscoe because I feel like, you know, he absolutely deserves it. Nothing but positive things have been said, you know, since, you know, his passing, unfortunately. And we're going to honor him in this episode. Plus, we want to, you know, let the We Are Wrestling Maniacs know that, if the family does decide to do a GoFundMe account, we are going to put it in our links, you know, down below. So if you guys want to, you know, support, you know, his family and help out, it will be in the links below. We are wrestling. We'll be donating to it probably as well. And, you know, most importantly, we're not going to be monetizing this special because we don't want to do this for clout. We want to honor this man because he is, you know, part of one of the most underrated best tag teams of all time. But before we get into, you know, this tribute, if you're not a, we are wrestling maniac yet already, and you're not a part of the thousands of subscribers, the best way to support us is by hitting that subscribe button. Now turning on the post notifications videos, be coming out of nowhere, like an RKO. And of course you already know the grind is real. And when I found this news out, I was actually just got done watching Monday Night Raw and I started, you know, editing my reactions. I was supposed to upload them last night, but when, you know, I saw the news of what happened, unfortunately, I had to, I, I stopped. Like I was actually really sad about what happened and I just, you know, couldn't do it. Yeah, it was uh you posted um you sent a, a screen cap of uh some tweet or something in the uh we are wrestling group chat that we have. Mm -hmm. And at first I was I was like Jay Briscoe. At first, like my mind went to Gerald Briscoe for whatever fucking reason. You know, too many fucking Briscoes. There's a um, lot of Briscoes in professional wrestling. So so when I I immediately honed in on the last name. I, you know, I didn't, I didn't think Brisco. about Jay Briscoe. And then I, I searched it up. I was like, Oh my fucking God, bro. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. Like this dude just had literally one of their best matches a month ago, yeah. ring of honor tag team champions. And I mean, it just goes to show that, you know, like everybody's been saying, you know, since yesterday, you know, Things happen. Don't take life for granted. Life is too short as it is. And then you have, you know, 38 years old, bro. Yeah. Like, I'll, I'll be 33 this year, man. It's only um, a couple of years old, uh, older than me. Yeah. Yeah, man. Uh, you know, like you said, uh, life is really short. You know, call your homies. Call your loved ones. Hold everybody dear to you. You know, tomorrow's never promised. And, it, like, you know, it's a tragedy. It, it is a... It, we, as... You know, a wrestling community took a very large hit. It's a very dark day in the industry. Um, it's a very, very horrible and very traumatic time for his family. So I can only imagine how they're feeling. And obviously we are wrestling, you know, us personally, our condolences are with his family and friends at this time, anybody close to him, um, you know, and uh, 
yeah, well, you know, all we can do now is appreciate what he's done for the business, you know, what he's, you know, added to the business. And now we have a giant 20 year long catalog of some of his best and his finest work from the start to finish, you know, and, uh, it's unfortunate because I found Jay Briscoe and the Briscoe brothers very late, you know, very, very late, almost recently. So it, it's, it's a shame that I wasn't able to really appreciate his entire run, you know, cause he was a part of ROH for so long and I, I had no way of watching ROH, you know, I've barely had cable my entire life, you know? Um, yeah. so it's like getting a hold of, you know, different, you know, promotions that are on certain streaming outlets or, you know, certain channels, you know, that I didn't have access to. I was really cut off. I know I was, I started watching TNA back in 2005 and that, that was very short lived, you know? So it, it was, it's really a shame because he was such a prolific star and he was on my radar for a long fucking time. And I, I saw like bits and pieces of some of the things that he was involved with. Um, but you know, recently i just saw a couple of his what i think are probably some of the best best matches in pro wrestling that i've seen you know they definitely know how to captivate and compel an audience and that is severely there's going to be a severe hole in that aspect of pro wrestling that's not going to be filled you know that's a void now and you know now all we can do to remember him is celebrate him and and that's the thing about jay briscoe too not only was him and his brother Mark so talented in the ring. By the way, our, th our thoughts go out to Mark too, man. I can't imagine. Oh, absolutely, he seriously. But Jay Briscoe was also very good at cutting promos too, and he really was able to, you know, have an audience listen to him and his style yeah. of promo. And that's the thing, like about Jay Briscoe, that I really respect a lot. And I think why I've always been a fan of the Briscoe brothers, they have been a part of Ring of Honor since day one. 2002, I think. Yeah, and man. yeah, they, they left when, you know, AEW, when Tony Khan bought Ring of Honor for a little bit, did some stuff with Impact, but of course they came back. And that's the thing, like, they were with Ring of Honor since day one, and we really got to see their both of their careers grow tremendously through the years when they were just kids getting into the business to now. And it's incredible to just look back from 2002 when ring of honor first started to now, like the Briscoes, they won multiple tag team championships. They also, you know, Jay Briscoe was a former ring of honor champion, which the match that he had with, you know, Kevin Steen, one of you know the best Ring of Honor yeah. World Championship matches and moments because and I believe he I believe it was he wrestled Champa too right yeah he wrestled a lot he's wrestled a lot of people from Ring of Honor and the thing is like with that moment when he won the championship like it was from a Ring of Honor original and that's why it was yeah. such a special moment yeah definitely uh. You know, I got um the Briscoe brothers got on my radar. I want to say it was, I want to say like 2014. I want to say, mm -hmm. and uh, I remember when Matt Hardy would do like the uh, independent circuits or whatever, and like every so often, you know, he would like screen cap like his matches and he would throw them up on his YouTube channel. And uh, it was at Union Pines High School, I think, in 2014. It was the Hardys versus the Briscoes. And uh, that was a great match. It's on Matt Hardy's YouTube channel if you guys would like to go check it out. But I remember at one point Shane Helms gets involved or whatever. Or, you know, the Briscoe brothers like go to beat up Shane Helms because he, he was in a match prior. And the Hardys come out and just start beating the hell out of the Briscoe. It was just it was a very hard hitting match. Uh, so the Briscoe brothers have been on my radar for quite a few years. But I, I don't think I, I appreciated what they did in the ring until their, you know, their three match tournament i guess you say whatever you want to say with ftr i feel like yeah, that yeah. i'd, say like, a three match. That's I, I'd say like a three match series yeah three match that's, series. that's with actually one of the matches that i've uh trilogy i the trilogy yeah man that that was the dog collar match was absolutely insane oh man. my god absolutely, absolutely insane. fucking nuts dude that is some that was some of 
just in general, just to put it bluntly and just, you know, roughly, is some of the best pro wrestling I have watched in so long. And it just, everybody felt fluid in the ring. Everything just felt great. Like, it, the atmosphere, everybody was feeding on it. And it was just, that's going to be missed, man. And I can, I'm a very new fan. And I can only imagine how long the day, how heart, how, like, heartbreaking it is for the day ones you know i just again you know my thoughts are with everybody man like it's huge loss yeah and like with you know jay and mark such an incredible tag team like they had legitimate chemistry they were i think why always tag champions and why the fans loved them so much was because every time whether they were in a gym with 10 people or in Madison Square Garden for that one show that they had or, you know, any show that they go to, they always give it 150%. And that is, you know, what the audience want when they go, when they pay good hard earned money to watch a professional wrestling show. The Briscoes they always, always deliver. over deliver. And for me, I had the honor and privilege to meet both Jay and Mark back in 2022 at Northeast Wrestling's WrestleFest in Poughkeepsie, New York. And, you know, seeing them in person, they had a tag team match. It was a false, it was like an anything goes match. They wrestled um, the Righteous members, Dutch and Bateman, which if you don't know Dutch and um, Vincent right now, they're actually on WWE's radar, but that's a whole thing for another, you know, time. Yeah. But they had this incredible tag, like anything goes match. And I remember watching the Briscoes, like they were doing moves I've never seen from tag mm-hmm. teams before. And like they, you know, they also have the, you know, the death match style in there. So they know how to, you know, make hardcore, you know, yeah. spots, you know, oh my God, or holy oh. shit. Oh and it God. was absolutely incredible watching them in person for the first time last Joey year. Joey Styles' throat would be fucking killing him if he was always calling a Briscoes match. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he would, yeah. His shit would Jay. always be killing him. Dude, man, Jay Briscoe was, I, you know, for me, Jay Briscoe, I always, you know, I loved his work. And the fact that, you know, because I've been following the Bl- Briscoe brothers since 2014, 2015, Okay. And to actually finally get the opportunity to meet both of them last year was such an honor. Like I remember you they were running late man. to the show. And then when, you know, the word was going around that the Briscoes showed up cause they put them in the hallway friggin', you know, I booked it because like going to that show, they were one of, you know, like they were tech for me, probably like the, one of the big reasons why I decided to yeah. go to the show. Definitely, man, and I unfortunately uh, have never gotten the chance to meet them. I would have loved Same. to. Um, you know, they they were just good old country boys, man. I mean, mm-hmm. you know, they didn't they lived their life pretty much, you know, how their characters were portrayed on TV. You know, there's and a little bit w- of them. The one, Reed the one thing, guy. the one thing that everybody them seems boys. to have in common, them boys, bro. Hashtag them boys. Them boys. Um, throw that all over social media, man. Hashtag them um, boys. Them boys. A- absolutely. But one thing that everybody has in common with, you know, their posts or their tribute to whatever on social media when it comes to Jay Briscoe is the fact that, you know, he loved his family so much. You know, he had, he had a couple mm-hmm. of kids. He had a wife, you know. He pretty much primarily kept them out of the spotlight, which is, you know, good. It's, you know, I, it's what I kind of do. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, it just... Such a horrible loss. Like you don't expect things like this. You know, they were advertised for uh Super Card of Honor in March and you know, it just what's what's gonna happen to Mark now? You know, it just sort of seems like he was sort of like the muscle well, and Jay and Jay was sort of like the brains of the entire the entire well, uh, their entire careers, you know. What it's I'm just, very interested to see is how things start to play tonight because it's dynamite. So you're gonna, oh, you're, yeah. you'll be seeing some kind of tribute to him, and uh, you know I'll probably I'll probably hop on your watch along for that one. Uh, I'll probably see what's going on, you know, in the beginning of the show, just to see you know what what they do, because you know I'm always I'm always interested in just seeing how you know companies pay tribute to a, a big star that they lost, and you know any star in general. 
um, so especially somebody as prolific and is you know on the legend status of Jay Briscoe. So I just mm-hmm. I'm interested, and in, you know I just I'm interested in any way they do it. You know, is as, as and long as like it holds a candle to him. You know, mm-hmm. and that's the thing. Like I want to also say, you know, WWE last night on Perhaps. NXT. Seriously, like props, you know, for you know honoring Jay Briscoe and you know mentioning him, mm-hmm. and also you know seeing all you know WWE stars and AEW stars and independent stars all coming together because that's the thing. Like us, you know, toxic wrestling fans out there. Yep, we you know always want there to be a war competition because of what we saw. In you know 1997 with Monday Monday Night Wars, so we always want to see that in 2023. But realistically, people don't realize that there isn't a war. AEW doesn't, you know, AEW is doing what's best for AEW. WWE is doing what's best for WWE, and all the professional wrestlers and sports entertainers. At the end of the day, they're doing what they love, and that's what you know matters. People Absolutely. need to people Wrestling people pe- people There's need no to realize war. people need to realize like you know majority of the people in WWE currently that are huge stars they were in Ring of Honor they were in these other independent promotions yeah. they have had matches with a the lot Briscoes. of the, I say a lot of them have crossed paths with the Briscoes. I, I literally just watched the match earlier today the Briscoe brothers versus Kevin Steen who is obviously known by Kevin Owens and uh, El Generico who is Sami Zayn. Um, a hellacious ladder match. If you haven't seen it, man, just yep, check, check it out. out from 2007. Mm-hmm. But like, you know, like they're all friends, you know, at the end of the day, like we look at these guys on TV and, you know, they seem larger, larger than life to us. But in reality, they're just like us, man. They grew up as fans and, you know, they, they want a larger to... than life job. Exactly. Mm-hmm. And I got to say too, like even, you know, I saw a video that was posted from ring of honor back, like when they were in quarantine, Oh, uh, with, and Jay, with, with Jay, you know, dancing like with his daughter, that was such a beautiful video to see. Yeah. yeah and even, you... and even GCW, they posted like a nice little tribute video to him too, which was very nice. Because like Jay, like the Briscoes, like, you know, they were supposed to be like these backwoods hillbillies. Like, I don't give a fuck, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to fuck you up. And then you Mm -hmm. see somebody as menacing as Jay Briscoe looks and he's like, you know, helping his daughter with her dance routine, you know, and he has Mm -hmm. like a bow in his hair. And it's just like, you see things like that. And it just, you get to see, you get to see a little perspective of their personal life and who they really are. Yeah. It's just so heartbreaking with everything that happened. And, like, really, like, you know, our condolences really do go out to, you know, Mark Briscoe and, yeah. you know, of course, His wife and Jay, kids. you know, Jay's, you know, wife and kids and, you know, fans, family, friends, Anybody because a lot of people, you know, were affected by this tragic loss. And I do, I do, I do want to say, obviously, I haven't heard anybody mention it. And I mean, you should. Um, the other person, obviously, that was involved, you know what I mean? Absolutely. It wasn't just, it wasn't just Jay that mm-hmm. lost lost his life you know no, you, you know mm-hmm. solid point dan uh you know uh, to every to everybody on the other um the other party's family that tragically lost their life you know our condolences are out to them in this mm-hmm. dark time as well and you know they're going to require healing as well and i you know again thoughts and condolences all around because it's just mm-hmm. a dark week in general and like with you know with this entire accident like our thoughts and prayers are you know with you know both families during this because I can't imagine, you know, losing somebody, you know, I've lost, you know, a lot of very close people in my life mm-hmm. throughout. And like, when I see other people, Loss you know, lose easy. people, it does break my heart. It really does. I know the other person was a female. I'm not sure name, not sure age. Regardless, none of she may it have been matter. a sister. She was a daughter. She was a friend. You know, she was a cousin. She was, she was another beating heart on this planet too. Exactly. Mm-hmm. So, you know, again, the light's a little bit dimmer. So, you know, just call your people, check up on them, make sure they're okay, and tell me you love them. Life's too short, guys. It really is. And, you know. Like, we could be we could be here, you know, where we're sitting here right now recording and talking about this. And, you know, for all, drop for, like that. for all we know, so, you know, something later on today, something could happen. And, 
You know, it's yeah. just, it puts life into perspective, you know, because like when it comes to pro wrestling, especially, you know, pro wrestling's death, uh, you know, deaths or whatever, like a lot of it over the years has been self-inflicted, whether it's been drugs or alcohol or, you know, you know, other stuff that I'm not going to mention. But you don't like I mean, he was just riding in the car with his family one minute. The next, like, you don't He's you just gone. don't expect it. You don't expect it. You know what I mean? You never do. And that's what the that's the scariest perspective of life there is. That's the unknown. Mm-hmm. And that's the thing, like, I really do hope, you know, Mark does come back. I really do. When, you know, his, you know, headspace is a little bit better because I know he's I, gonna be a while. going through I it. hope. Here, here, here's what I hope. And I don't know if you guys are being agreement with me. I think TK needs to redesign new tag team titles and the ones that the Briscoes held, they need to retire them and let Mark keep both of them. Absolutely. I, I agree. I And I think that I might honestly be the way that Tony goes because he is a very family first guy. And yeah. this is the in Mark is going through the worst kind of shit right now. So I, I think that that's might that might be what happens because the same thing happened with Brody Lee. Yep. Today is Mark's birthday too. And he just turned thirty eight. And it is absolutely yeah, I Jay's feel so in bad a for him. Weeks. I again I am so sorry for him. I'm very sympathetic and it just it just, you know, it does I still I, don't again, want it to be I, real. It, I'm kind of still like I'm trying to put myself in his shoes and I'm speechless. So I just mm-hmm. there's not much more I, I, I could, you know, add to it because it's it's gotta be traumatic. But I'm telling you, we are wrestling maniacs. If you have not done the research on Jay Briscoe, I really recommend you guys to go on this YouTube platform and look up these matches because there's over hundreds of them. They're incredible, and I know he will never be forgotten. Hell no. One of you know the most underrated professional wrestlers out there. There's a reason why this man had multiple tag team champions. There's a reason why. He main evented against FTR multiple times, and there's a reason why he even won their World Heavyweight Championship. Bro, the the match Nothing that he talent. had, and I, I think I told you about this. Um, I want to say earlier on in 2021, I decided to watch uh, Warrior Wrestling 19, and it was uh, the Briscoe Brothers versus the Warcourse, man. Bro, watch that match, man. If you can find that match, watch it, because, mm-hmm. like, it... It was insane. The stuff that they were doing, and they were just in like a gymnasium, but the stuff that they were doing just to entertain the crowd and put on a good show is just remarkable. They always gave it it 150%. It didn't matter if there was nobody in the crowd. They would still go out there and try to have a five-star class. And here's the thing. If you love the business, you'll do it. And his his whole legacy says it all. Mm -hmm. And, you know... Let us know in the comment section below if you are a Jay Briscoe fan, what was one of your favorite matches that he had? And, you know, you know before and, we, um, I didn't mean to cut you off, Donnie, but no, there's, something, there's, there's something else that I really do want to mention. And uh, obviously it has nothing to do with Jay Briscoe, but it's, uh, you know, this whole Kevin Nash situation. And uh, yeah. I just want to send my, my yeah. thoughts out to him. And, you know, he's going through a really rough patch right now. And, he's going through some know. the worst type of shit, too. And he's been saying, uh, you know, I'll keep this brief. He's been saying some very alarming things. Again, check on your loved ones. Hold your family close. Tomorrow's not guaranteed, but you matter. So so if you guys are on social media, if you guys are on Twitter or whatever, if you guys use that platform, you know, send a, send a tweet of encouragement to Big Kev because, you he know, I think it. he needs it. He deserves it right now. The Seriously. wrestling community is hurting right now. So check on everybody that you see in social media as well. You know, see how they're doing because everybody's hurting right now. And realize and, that because these guys are on TV, they're fucking human, man. Mm-hmm. They're just exactly. like us. Absolutely. And, you know, my, you know, I do also really hope that, you know, Kevin Nash I really hope that he can, you know, get some help with what's yeah. going on. And like my, you know, my thoughts and prayers, you know, also, you know, really go out to Big Kev because I, you know, had, I had the honor to meet Kevin Nash and one of my, you know, favorite meet and greets of all time. And I've met over, you know, hundreds of different wrestlers. Mm-hmm. And I really hope that Kevin Nash could bounce back and, you know, really send, you know, some love 
you know, to big Kev and, you know, send some love as well to like Mark and, you know, everybody that's affected by this right now. Exactly, but, man. um, guys, if, you know, I think to end this off, you know, Jay always said, reach for the sky. And that's what, you know, everybody, man, we got to do. Yep. We're the wise words of motivation, man. Hashtag, Hashtag them, them boys, boys, man. Them boys. But right, guys. to, you know, all the We Are Wrestling Maniacs out there worldwide, this is, you know, our special, you know, to honor, you know, Jay Briscoe. And if you guys, you know, want us, you know, to do a watch along eventually, maybe to a match that you guys suggest, you know, let us know because, you know, we're always open to, you know, watching, you know, a good professional, you know, work. Absolutely. And, you know, to all the We Are Wrestling Maniacs out there and, you know, to Jay's family, friends, fans, and, you know, even, you know, the other family that's affected by this whole thing, our thoughts and prayers are with you and, We'll see you guys next time. Take it easy, guys.